I'ma do it like I ain't been done. I'ma do it like I ain't been done. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel again and 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 again. So today, um... But no. So today, I'm giving you guys a video on how I dye my hair, y'all. So, if you've been following me for a long time, I've had caramel highlights, I've had red burgundy brown hair, I've had, you know... Um, yeah, so recently, like, since since I've been dyeing my hair, uh, recently I've been doing, like, a purple plum brown because my hair is normally dark brown from, like, naturally dark brown, and <clears throat> the plum is just a nice dark color that has a hint of purple in it in the sun in certain lights, which makes getting away with colored hair a lot easier and just a lot natural. Like, like I walk in the sun and people are like, Wait, your hair is purple and I'm like, you ain't even know though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of people, like the vibrant colors, I used to want vibrant colors, but I just know getting rid of the vibrant colors or like having to get to those vibrant colors takes a lot of work and I'm not about it because my health of my hair is more important. So I just really go to the dark purples and I like it. I love it a lot. So yeah, it looks more natural to me and it's just like easier to maintain. So this video is on how I like re-dye my hair to kind of you know, refresh my color. And yeah, so um, I'm not a professional, so don't like take this as a tutorial. I'm just showing you guys how I dye my hair and how I get the desired color that I want. And yeah, so if you wanna stay tuned and watch this, then I mean, it's all up to you. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Oh, and um, I'm almost a 10K on Instagram, so shameless promo, so if you wanna like, Follow your boy on Instagram, go ahead. And like I always say, DM me, you know, comment on, under my pictures, tell me you're from YouTube, and I'll totally follow you back. Like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody worried, ain't nobody scared to follow nobody back. Like, I got you, we're friends, you know? So I got you. But yeah, um, just let's just jump right into this video on how I dye my hair, okay? okay? So you're gonna need a shirt that you don't care about getting dirty. You're gonna need some gloves. You're gonna need a bowl, some Vaseline to cover up your edges, and 30 volume developer and this is my hair dye so the bowl you really can use any bowl but I just like the measurements on this bowl because um just depending on your developer size but since I got this bottle developer like I just use all of it for these two packs of coloring and as you see I just got some Vaseline on this moment and covered up my edges and my ears for the color and then I'm just gonna pour in the developer and yeah I'm just gonna just do this little cool effect you feel me <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna pour in the developer and then I'm gonna get like my rat tooth my rat tooth my rat tail comb and just mix it all up until I get this consistency and then let's get started y'all so this is my hair a little rusty dusty beforehand I'm just gonna fix up my color I have it in four sections and I always I always start boy I can't even talk I always start with the back of my hair first even in wash and goes and everything so I'm just gonna section this off a little bit I'm sorry for this little mark on my camera lens and y'all I just figured out that my ISO on my camera was all messed up I must have accidentally mess it up so the quality is gonna look better next time I promise you but anyways so I'm just gonna take this and just section it out of the way with a little clip and get started now when I apply the color I use my hands I don't use a brush because I just like to feel where I'm applying it and I don't really need a brush that takes like 10 times longer so I'm just gonna apply the color to the ends and start working my way up I never go all the way up to my roots um I don't really feel like I need to but once I do get closer to like the demarcation from when I applied the color last time I just use my fingertips and kind of like blend it um into my natural hair color because I want it to look as natural as possible. Not that people can really even see the difference because it is so dark, but I just, just in case it fades, I want it to look as natural as can be. And so, yeah. So as you see, I'm literally just applying the color section by section as if I was really doing my wash and go. It's really not anything different than that. And I'm just gonna keep going. This is what, um, yeah, just section by section by section. Now I do move a little faster than this. I'm just trying to show you guys and make sure that I'm getting everything coated. I do move a little faster because I do have a lot of hair and I want everything to be on my head at least for the same even amount of time. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just, you know, doing that. And just, I'm really just make sure, making sure that everything's coated evenly because this is old hair. You should wash your, you should dye your hair <laughs> on um, hair that's not washed yet. It's just a healthier, 
option and it normally tells you to do that to begin with and this color um comes off really easily if it's on your arm like on mine but i'm just showing you guys that like the slip of this color too is pretty is pretty good because my curls um although this is like a day eight wash and go they're like they're pretty good like i'm avoiding extra tangles from already having tangles throughout the week so yeah so I, after i finish this little section i finish everything i take the rest of my hair out that was in the back cooking you know baking in the oven you feel me and i just um i just move my hair around and i take whatever excess color i have left and um just um go over these parts just to make sure everything's coated in different directions since i do wear my hair parted and on the middle down the side like like I wear all over the place so yeah and then I just go through all of it and make sure everything's coated and I add some more just in case to make it you know simmer a little bit and this is my hair this is what it looks like like I said it has a good little tint to it a purple tint a natural purple tint and um yeah this is a permanent hair color you could always try a semi-permanent but yeah so this is my hair color I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video and um yeah everything will leak be linked in the bio so like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye i'm gonna do it like 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 i